Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Age of Wonders for Primal Fury. So I think I might have to get rid of this large monster then, because if I don't, they will just keep harassing me and pillaging my improvements. We can just build a teleporter here, and then simply teleport. It shouldn't take too long. Yeah, and I'm going to need teleporters anyway, so I have to build it one way or the other. And we could have a second one in gold wall. That will already save several turns. Yeah, only two turns to build it. Maybe over here. Okay, yeah, that works. So that's two turns. It will take me that long to get here. So, yep, okay, that works. And then I would like one in my capital as well. Let's just build it right away. We're going to need it. Where is it? What the heck? Oh, yeah, right here. Four turns. Probably instead of a farm. Right here. Okay, yeah, that works. We got plus 99 food, so not a problem. And I think we're good. No need to build one in Green Rock. Also, Goldwall happens to be my highest draft city. By a significant margin. And I can still uh, improve it. Alright, well, let's move towards the teleport then, shall we? I could also try to take over this tree here. That's a gold wonder too. And they actually changed the, the way magic victory works. That was a while ago, I think. But yeah, I haven't played in a while before Primal Fury. But yeah, I haven't played in a while until Primal Fury. So now we need to bind three gold ancient wonders, reach tier 5 tome, research age of nature spell, and cast it and defend the bound gold wonders. So depending on which victory is going to be faster, either military or magic, it might be helpful to take over at least some gold wonders. Just in case I'll have to go for that one. Oh, and uh, speaking of neutrals, we also have this one here. I think I'll have to wait. Not sure if my hero can kill them alone. Probably not. Okay, yeah, probably not. We have to wait for some reinforcements. It's alright. They are close enough, alright? You can just chill here. I would queue up a unit, but Gold Wall, uh, but uh, Herd Wall only has 26 draft, which is kind of really low. Uh, Alright, we have a Slither here, and even more units. Uh, where's the second army? Okay, where is everyone? Yeah, uh, one over here and one over here. Yep. Alright, well, let's go then. Some of them also need to heal up. Yeah, we'll use this leader. We have to replenish this army here. And here we got three more units. Alright. And four more units. Yeah, they could probably take care of this dragon here. I think they could. Maybe not without casualties. But it should be fine. And I could stop them from pillaging the improvement. So we'll attack them on the next turn. That works. Uh, actually, I'm not staying in Skullpit. We are vassalizing this one. I think now I'll go after this guy to the west. Because we're friendly with the other two. Well, friendly with one and allied with the other. Anyway, speaking of gold wall and draft, we could grab a droid of the psycho. Oh yeah, there's rally of the legions going on. Do I need more gold? Sort of. Yes and no. We could grab a swamp troll. It's still cheaper to get the droid of the psycho here, technically, but I think I'd rather get another glade runner, and maybe also an entwined protector. Healing sap is just so good. Healing Sap literally won me fights before that I thought would be lost. So yeah, we'll grab one for sure. 
that's basically all of our gold. I will have literally one gold left. One single gold piece left. That's pretty funny. Your heroes gain experience 200% faster. Okay, I think I'm going to grab that one. It's 400 Imperium, but that's actually really good. Okay, yeah, I'm taking that. That is a lot of potential experience. And high level heroes are pretty damn strong. Okay. Yeah, they're pillaging the gold mine. That's fine, we'll stop them. How's the research? Two more turns. It would be nice to improve the knowledge a little bit still. Because the research is taking a little bit longer than I would have liked. 1800 for this one. And we're only making 371 per turn. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, well, let's attack. And yeah, we got two more units from the rally. Oh yeah, this is going to be easy. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, let's move one guy out. Which one, though? A good question. Maybe the Ancestral Warden. And these two guys will join the army. Okay, and then we can attack. Yeah, that's going to be easy. I might have to do it manually to avoid losses. No, it's fine. And our hero leveled up as well. Nice. And we got eight souls. I think I'm going... Yeah, no, I don't have enough souls for this anyway. Let's level up the hero. Level nine. That's the newest one, right? I might want to respec him. Restoration, blink. Maybe not. Okay, this looks reasonable. Archery 1, Archery 2, Martial Expertise, Restore, Sprint. This looks fine, but I could get Killing Momentum right away if I respec. So that might be worth doing, and I can reset my skills once for free. Otherwise it costs Imperium. So I think I might do it. Okay, I think I might actually do it. Yeah, let's reset. And I think we'll go archery. I might even have a better bow here. I think we had a tier 3 bow. I should definitely disenchant some of this stuff. Yeah, right here, ready on the bow. This looks pretty good. I like this one. What does this one do? Bleeding. Alright, well, we'll use this one, that's fine. There you go. Anything else? Are these better? When a friendly spell is cast... Okay, we won't be casting spells with this person. Not really. Let's get plus two defense. Torso. Okay, how about some health? Or status resistance. This is technically tier 1, but status resistance is really useful. Or we can just take plus 15 HP. Let's take plus 15 HP. Do we have a better mount? That's a lot of wargs. Yeah. I need to disenchant some of this stuff. Okay, let's disenchant some warg mounts. It's not like I need this many, okay? We have a whole stable here. That's what we have. Okay, and uh, we did have some items. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we have a lot of useless stuff here. We can definitely disenchant these tier 1 items, like the bow. Anything that gives us 40 is tier 1. Uh, I will keep the armor, though. And the rings. This might already be enough to craft something decent. Okay, we can keep this. Let's keep the rest for now. Okay, yeah, that's fine. What else are you using? Uh, we're using two items that basically do the same exact thing. Yeah, these two items here literally do the exact same thing. 
so we have no need to use them both. Anyway, let's spend our points. So obviously archery. Archery 1. Archery 2. Uh, let's try that again. Wait. Wait, what happened? Yeah, archery 1. I need something else before I can take archery 2. Uh, we can grab sprint. Yeah, we should definitely grab sprint. That's a no-brainer for an archer. So sprint. Archery. Frost weapons, perhaps. It's not amazing, but it will still do something for me. Or a defense one. Yeah, it might be useful to have some defense and evasion. Keep them alive, you know. Then martial expertise. Eagle eye. And the killing momentum. There we go. And then we could maybe get some support stuff. Yes, we could. Like inspiring leader, that's nice. I think I might just grab that. Yeah, let's get the inspiring leader. And I have some high tier units in this stack already. So now... Right, probably blink. Blink is nice on an archer. Definitely. And then we can still take restoration. Yeah, that was a good combo. I have no problem with that. Okay, let's get the blink and the restoration. Restoration is nice to have. It means you can lose a unit and then still get it back by the time the fight is done. Okay, yep, yeah, this is better. Now we have killing momentum. I still have one point left. Alright. Unholy leader. Don't really need that all that much. I guess we can grab a restore. It can be useful to remove negative status effects. Because there are some pretty harsh negative status effects out there. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty good stack. Now we could send them here towards this haunted graveyard. I need to get rid of it. Otherwise, there's a good chance they will keep sending stuff to attack us. So we'll get rid of it. Uh, that's the slither. Alright, first let's move towards the teleporter. And I think I might try to take over the tree. I'm going to need 800 gold to claim it. Because I'll have to build the town hall here. Okay, apparently it's cheaper. Well, either way, we need the plus one province annex range. Before we can take this, I think. Maybe not. Okay, actually, maybe not. Looks like we might not need that. Obviously, though, I have to clear it. Duh. Alright, you guys. They can just chill around here. Oh yeah, they could actually uh, defend this outpost. Because uh, it has Ember Keep. It's only Bronze Wonder, but it's always something. Alright, uh, yeah, we're moving towards the teleporter. One is already finished, and the other one will be finished soon. So, let's go. There you go. Okay. And another guy. <laughs> I have a lot of armies. Let's see if we can find anything else out here. I'm not holding my breath, but who knows? Who knows? Oh, Declaration of Rivalry. Okay, he was friendly just a moment ago. I have a feeling I'll have to defend a skull pit at some point. One thing I could do is release one of my cities as a vassal and then annex skull pit instead. I could release Bush Grove as a vassal city. It's not a terrible idea. Or I can just build a teleporter in here. Because it's right next to the exit from the underground. So really, a teleporter right here is probably good enough for our purposes. I think it's actually good enough. If we're going to do that though, uh, let's annex this province because it's kind of useless. 
hopefully we'll get a unit out of that. Okay, tier two spider, that's fine. Send it up. And then we can build a teleporter. Alright, let's go. That's going to be 200 gold. 100 gold. Yes, already here. Because that's a pretty useless improvement otherwise. Good spot for a teleporter. Yeah, our treaty has ended, we know. Oh well. Uh, that is quite a few monsters right there. Yeah, I'm going to take care of that. And then we might just go after this guy. He made himself a target. Where is his capital? Right here, Sunholm. It's right in the corner of the map. Yeah, it's a little bit far away. What about this dude to the west? That's it, right here. That is also quite far away. So, it will take me a while to get there. Regardless of which one I go for first. Yeah. We could grab this city on the way. It only has 25 fortification. Yeah, we'll see about that. There's the research. What can we get next? Parting gifts? Okay. So until the end of battle, whenever a friendly unit dies, all other friendly units within two hexes heal plus 12 temporary hit points. And then we can resurrect that person. Purifying flame. Friendly units within one hex radius heal for 25 and have their negative status effects removed. Okay, well, that's a no-brainer. That's really, really good. A heal and negative status effect removal? Heck yeah. I'll take that. Alright, let's keep moving here. We have a nice convenient road, but it will still take a few turns to get there. Okay, the teleporter is done. Now we can teleport over there. I still want this tree of the Fae. This is a gold wonder, so I'm going to need a strong army. Probably the strongest one possible. This one is actually pretty decent. Maybe lacking in DPS a little bit. So I could replace one of the shield units. Probably the Bastion, because the Protector has healing sap. And as I mentioned before, I really like that. We could add the White Wolf instead. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, let's add the White Wolf instead. So we'll move out the Bastion. Move in the White Wolf. The White Wolf is actually champion rank. So it's a pretty damn strong unit. I could probably still move another unit around, but this is good. Yeah, this is good. It should be enough, I think, to clear that wonder. We'll find out, won't we? Okay, let's move out, or rather move in with some units into this army here. Something that will give us a decent balance. Within this army. Well, this is a bit of a mess right now. Okay, let's grab the nymph right here. That's five. We have two shield units and a skirmisher. And one support unit. So something ranged would be nice. I don't actually have a lot. Or a shock unit would also be nice. Like this Gortask Mage Shark. Okay, yeah, that's fine. There you go. Man, this is a lot of units. Well, hey, that's a good problem to have, all right? Right, we will move into the teleporter. I think the rest of my army can probably handle the neutrals. Especially with this hero here. They can probably handle it. Even more units down here. Right, these guys will guard the outpost. Just to have at least some basic defenses over there. Here's yet another hero. He's coming. Okay, I don't expect to find anything here, but we'll still look around regardless. And do we follow our main army? Yeah, let's follow it, because we don't know what we'll find here. 
Although it's only bronze infestation spawner, but still. We can still move. Right, these guys don't actually have a hero. But I suppose we can still teleport over. What's this? I should have checked first. Yeah, no, it's fine. What do we build in Avernus? Blacksmith for more draft wouldn't hurt. This is my second highest draft city. And this is largely thanks to this wildlife sanctuary, which is literally giving me 35 draft. Because it's plus 5 for every adjacent forest. And they are all forests. Every single adjacent province is a forest. So that's as high as it can go on a wildlife sanctuary. We have a lot of mana. But that's a good problem to have, okay? It's very easy to like go down to zero mana in this game. It's so easy. Just summon a bunch of units. A bush grove gains gold. 76 gold per turn for 6 turns, okay. 780 draft. 700 food. Okay, next population growth in 1 turn, down from 9. Or we can get 300 cent in Imperium. Okay, no, I'm getting Imperium. We need Imperium. We always need Imperium. You never not need Imperium. Uh, okay. First, the tree. So, let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh, he controls it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Okay, whatever, he can have it. It's fine. Let's go get rid of the spawners. Shall we? Why can you not teleport? Oh, somebody is standing on top? No, they're not. Are you out of movement? Wait, what? Why can he not teleport here? What? That's kind of weird. No, yeah, he can. I guess it just wasn't very visible. I can see it here. The outline. I can see it here. Eh, whatever, doesn't matter. I can attack right now and everyone else will join. Yeah, might as well. It's fine. Uh, let's do auto. Uh, this is a very weak stack. And they were about to pillage my improvement. There. Uh, I'm going to keep my souls for now. How long until we potentially get yet another hero? Okay, 26 turns. If I want another hero in a reasonable future, I'll have to pay Imperium, which I could. However, I can also pay 800 to get another city. That's probably what I'll use my Imperium for. We also got a young Frost Dragon here. Man, I have a lot of units. Yes, I do. You know, I could just go after this guy. Since I'm already moving in that general direction, it kind of makes sense. However, I shouldn't go there with literally everything I have. Because we might need some defenses back home. We will keep some. What about this spider? He can head towards Goldwall or something. Okay, you will stay in the outpost. It's not exactly an impressive army, but at least we'll have some kind of basic defense. And we do have walls in there. Okay, these guys are basically reinforcements, although we should utilize the elephant more. He's champion rank as well. So we'll move it into some different army, I think. I'm pretty sure we're done exploring here. Oh, there we go! We actually found something! I'm surprised, but okay. Yeah, Bandleton coming again. Better relations, that's good. Okay, he doesn't like me, which is not surprising. He doesn't like me either. Where's Obsidiax again? Yeah, okay, he's over here. Oh, that's kind of insane. So his capital is basically the most distant one. He might have to be last. We'll see. We're not really close to victory yet. I mean, I'm doing well. 
And I don't know, I might not actually end up going all the way because if it starts looking like we're totally dominating and it's just a formality to finish it, I might just call it a victory and uh, be done with that. Obviously, I'll be missing out on the Pantheon stuff. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I'll continue as long as it's fun. Right, you're going to Goldwall. So, let's kill the smaller spawner first. Since we're already here. Okay, move in with all of the heroes. We are getting more experience on heroes. And uh, auto combat. They do have a unicorn with phase. Hopefully I won't have to do it manually. One thing I don't want to lose is this legend rank primal darter. It might only be a tier 1 unit, but a legend gives him an ego eye medal, which is plus 1 range. And plus 1 range can be really valuable. Okay, nobody died. Okay, yep, that works. I don't need that, thank you. I will keep my souls for now. So what did we get? A tier 2 staff. Okay. Attack inflicts condemned. You mean guaranteed? Interesting. So not resistible. Okay, alright. Some food. And hunter spider. Okay. Now this one. Right here. How come they disabled and not do anything about that? And we also have a quest down here. Right here. 19 turns left to do this. Yeah, these are pretty weak. This neutral stack is pretty nasty. Yeah. And there's another one here. So I'm actually going to need my army here, alright? And yep, our wildlife sanctuary is being pillaged. I think I can kill them quickly enough. We can still move. Yeah, we are close enough. We can attack them on the next turn. Because if I lose that, I lose 35 draft. I can obviously repair it, but that takes some time too. Okay, we'll attack them on the next turn. So, okay, yep, more neutrals coming from the haunted graveyard. Okay, kill them. Tier 4 face beast. Don't make me do this manually. Okay, good, nobody died. And we have Veteran on the Ancestral Warden, good. I think I'll pass here. Okay, I'll pass on this. Let's keep going. I wonder what's guarding it. That Haunted Graveyard has been there basically since the beginning of this game. So, yeah. Okay, Sculpit is now vassalized. Shame it doesn't have a teleporter. And I can't, like, tell it to build one. Would be nice if I could, but alas. Uh, let's get some knowledge here. And also, uh, let's check Rufheim. Okay, we receive gold. I like gold, thank you. And we still have one more, actually. Arcadia. What can we do with Arcadia? We pay zero. We receive draft. Okay. I guess that works. So. Right, that's our ruler here. Yeah, I think we'll be going after this guy to the west. That seems to make sense. In my book. And now that we have teleporters, even if the other guy attacks me, I can just teleport back pretty quickly. Also, I can't grab this because we'd have to trespass. Do I care? Uh, I kind of do, but not really. This is just the neutral city. Okay, now I don't give a shit. Oh, it's guarded. I trespassed for nothing. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care about the trespassing anyway. What can we build? It would be useful to build gold uh, to build stone walls here potentially so let's grab that this city is actually pretty important yeah so gold uh, stone walls will be useful we got 131 gold left 
remove recall. How about some of these special improvements? Last time I checked, none of them would be particularly useful. Yeah, like, take a look at this one. I would literally only be gaining one mana. Yep, yeah, literally one mana. What about the others? A plus three mana. Yeah, we don't have any snow or ice provinces. At the recent research post or conduit. We have a total of three of those. Okay. Oh, plus four knowledge per adjacent mushroom forest province. Uh, that one might be the best. Okay, that's actually the best one. Yeah, okay, that's the best one. Hold on a second. I guess I should have built this one earlier. Okay, let's give it a shot. What do I sacrifice here? Minus two, four, the minus three production. Yeah, that's probably fine. This is plus 24 knowledge. I think plus 24 is gonna be max. Yeah, okay, plus 24 is gonna be max. So right here, instead of the forester, we'll gain 24 knowledge. Heck yeah! It will take four turns, but that's all right. Also, our heroes leveled up. Level eight. Let's see what you can get. What do you already have? Okay, he already has Killing Momentum. We can also get another skill. So far he has Restoration. Assassinate. I really like Assassinate because it's a completely free action and it only has two turn cooldown. Easily one of my favorite skills here, Assassinate. Especially for a hero who's already melee to begin with. And then, yeah, we could just grab the Inspiring Leader. Yep, that makes sense. There you go. Another one. So this guy is a battle mage. Yeah, we can grab Weaver. I suppose we could. You know, out of all these like ultimate abilities in each branch, I'm least impressed by Weaver. I'm not saying it's not useful, it is useful. I'm just not super impressed. Did they buff this? Did this used to be free skill points? I actually don't remember. Okay, well, we'll grab it anyway. It's not that it's bad, it's just less good than some of the others, like Spur to Action. Although this did get nerfed at some point, but it's still really good. Alright, Weaver it is then. There you go. One more hero. Let's see. So you... Right, you can get spur to action. And then we can grab the hero skill. So we have assassinate on this one. We could grab summon animal. We could get reckless rage. Maybe. So this is a support hero for the most part. I think Summon Animal makes sense. Or Draining Blade. Draining Blade is nice because it does damage while also healing you. I don't like having that. Or I could take Rallying Blessing, which is pretty nice as well. That actually kind of makes sense. I might take Rallying Blessing here, yeah. Mana Unchained. This one's not bad either, honestly. All friendly units in one hex radius gain three star blades and the two strengthened. This is actually better than the Rallying Blessing. Yeah, this is actually way better than Rallying Blessing. I mean, Rallying Blessing is mostly defensive and this one is offensive, but this is really good for damage. Let's take Mana Unchained. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so that's all of the heroes leveled up. Alright, we can annex something in Avernos. Not that there's a whole lot. We could grab another quarry here. Maybe on this side. 
Okay, and that will give us a unit. Uh, that is not particularly useful, but okay. We got ourselves a piglet. Yeah. Okay. He might be cute, but he's not very useful in combat, okay. Uh, 61 gold, just keep merchandise. Do we want to cast anything? Uh, probably not right now. I could summon a unit or two. I mean, we are making 76 mana per turn. But I think I'll pass. Yeah, I think I'll pass. Wait, did we ever cast Necrotic Magic? We did, right? It should be a bit more useful here, whether it's already active or not. I'm pretty sure we did. Let's check a Swamp Troll. I'm pretty sure we did, though. Where's the Swamp Troll? Oh, they're all underground? No, there's one. Wait, soul binders. We did not cast that. We actually did not. Oh, it wouldn't have been listed here, right? Yeah, okay. I don't think it would have been listed here. Because we did cast soul binders and it's not listed. Alright, well, let's cast that then. That won't be very expensive. And it can definitely be useful. And also, we should cast projectiles of decay. We just finished researching that. It's still plus to blight damage. I don't care as much about decaying, but countering regeneration can be useful. And this will affect a lot of units. So that's a little bit of extra damage for a lot of units. Definitely useful. Receive the trade proposal. Okay. Oh, they want Pilgrim's Passage. How about no? This guy doesn't even like me anymore. Piss off. He literally broke Wizard's Bond recently. And we still have this quest to get a Pact of Vassalage with Sorcel. Okay, this will actually happen in 6 turns and their quest has 14 left. Nice. I wasn't sure whether we'll finish that in time or not. But it looks like we will. Alright, let's save our wildlife sanctuary. And we have a bear rampaging around. Yep. Okay, kill these guys. They're getting on my nerves. This is a bit of an overkill, but I like overkill. I might have to do it manually if we lose something. Come on. Okay, nobody died. Good. And Twine Protector is now champion rank. Nice. And our ruler is level 10. Even better. Very nice. I will keep the souls. So, let's level up the ruler. He's getting pretty strong now. What can we get for him? I think I might grab Tail Bash. Base 60% chance of stunning the units he hits. This is already a very good ability, it does a lot of damage, so I will be using it, like, guaranteed, giving it an extra chance to stun the targets, even if it's only 60% base, that's still really useful. And displaces the units up to 2 hexes, that can be useful too. So let's grab that. Tail bash it is then. Alright then. There's the research done. Now we have a nice heal with status effect removal, flamer focus, firebomb, a magic attack that deals damage in an area, lingering mists. I guess we could grab a flamer focus. Okay, sure, let's get flamer focus. Where do I send this city spider? He can just chill over here. Well, somebody should defend this. And since there's a teleporter right here, if there's trouble elsewhere, they can go and help elsewhere. One thing I could do is just leave some of the bone horrors here. Yeah, and grab this dragon instead. 
the bone horrors are very easy to replace. Okay, there. Go make yourselves useful. Okay, how about that other spawner over here? We're getting close. Not quite there yet. I'm curious who's guarding it. We shall see. Uh, what tiered spawner is it? Oh, it's only bronze. Okay. And this one? Uh, this one is gold. Yeah, this one is much tougher. But that's why I brought a much bigger army. Other than wanting to attack the AI. Two birds with one stone, alright? Okay, I'm following with this army because these are my reinforcements. As for Avernos, Estate Hall is more food. Let's save up for some of the town halls. Actually, no, let's get more knowledge. Yeah, yeah, let's get more knowledge. There's the spell, Projectiles of Decay. We'll cast that. Yeah, see, now I'm only making 22 mana per turn. So, it's so easy to go into negative mana, as in per turn. And then it's just a matter of time before you end up with no mana. So it's really, really easy. On the other hand, these enchantments are also really damn powerful a lot of the time. Okay, man, this is definitely a bit of an overkill. We'll wreck this guy. But that's a lot of neutral armies. That is a lot of neutral armies. So where's his capital again? Wait, 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 where's his capital? Was it... No, that's not it. I don't think I can see his capital. No, I actually can't see his capital. Eh, well, alright, that's a bit awkward. But okay. Whatever, it's fine. I suppose I could always go after this dude. I can go back easily using the teleporters. Let's kill the neutrals first, and then we'll decide what to do after that. How's the next tome coming along? Okay, uh, one more research cycle left. Then we can pick our next tome, uh, which is going to be tier 4, I believe. We're getting to the good stuff. Alright, let's go. First, the quest. Uh, okay, let's not use this army without the hero. We'll just attack them on the next turn. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. It does matter because I want experience on these guys. Then again, they took some damage. Alright, they just attack. It's fine. It doesn't matter that much. We can fight them. We can lose some mana and gain increased morale. I don't think I need that. Just fight them. Yeah, this looks fine. Let's see if we lose anything in auto combat. Okay, nobody died. Nice. Uh, the Gortask Mage Shark is veteran. Bone Horror is soldier rank. Okay, not a lot of level ups, but it's always experience. Okay. We can get ourselves a Glade Runner for 225 mana. Only Soldier rank. Probably worth it though, because Tracker's Mark is really, really good. Do I even have space in my army though? Okay, I'm going to grab it. Because it's a really good unit. I can always replace something. One of the Bone Horrors or whatever. Okay, all cities gain stability for 6 turns. Oh wow! That's a lot of draft. At that point gold would be a problem. We can get 272 Imperium. But we'll get minus 10 alignment. I did stack up a fair bit of good alignment, so I don't care about this as much. Nail the butcher's body to the gates of Herdwald to demonstrate your supremacy. Damn right! Okay, let's do it. I'm basically trading 10 alignment for 272 Imperium. It's a good deal, okay? And we're still good. We're very good even. <laughs> yeah, we nailed his body to the gates and we're still very good. I'm the good guy. See, this is proof. I'm literally the good guy hmm. in this situation. 
Okay, here's the Glade Runner. Oh, on a mount! On a mammoth mount, nice! Very nice. Yeah, so now we just need to replace something in these armies. The Steel Shaper is not super amazing, but... This is the only shock you need in that army. I guess I could replace one of the Iron Golems. Okay. Well, I want to replace something. We could replace the Steel Shaper, but it's not a bad support unit. It is a pretty decent support unit. And this heal can actually heal for a lot, if you have a lot of stacks. Yeah, this one here. It's plus 8 for each stack lost. It can be a really powerful heal. I might actually replace the spider of all things. We'll decide on the next turn. So, graveyard. Okay, this is roughly what I expected. We can kill them on the next turn. And then they will hopefully stop bothering us. As for this dude... Yeah, let's keep him near Skullpit, because I'm a little bit worried this other guy in the north will actually attack me while I'm away with my entire army. So having at least some defenses over there would be useful for sure. I still don't know where the capital is exactly, but we'll just have to find it, I suppose. Yep. Yeah. We'll have to find it. So, bush grove. Let's save some gold. I still need the town halls. What's shrine to the spirits? Plus 10 food per farm. Okay, we have zero. Okay, just do gold for a turn or two. Yeah, I need more money. As for the capital. Oh yeah, this building here... No, this doesn't matter, because this is for every adjacent mushroom province. Okay, well, we can still grab a forester. That works. Maybe some production. Okay, let's grab a quarry. Production in here is not exactly impressive, so quarry is helpful. And we got ourselves a dread spider mage shark. Okay. You can just stay here. A hero leveled up. That's our archer. What can we get? So we currently... No, wait, that's not the archer. That's uh, the battle mage. So we currently have frost fire detonation. I could grab someone elemental. A draining blade on a battle mage is not that great. Enemy units in one hex radius. Fumble their attacks for one turn. Okay, this is actually pretty good. And it has six tile range. Because this is not a chance for them to fumble. They will fumble. So I actually like this one quite a bit. It's been really helpful in the past. So having sprint might be useful on a mage. That's what I'm thinking. We could also just continue the support tree. Actually, we haven't even started it. Let's get Sprint. Sprint on a Battle Mage can definitely be useful without a doubt. What's the final skill here? Immediately reveal the full world map. Okay, but that's 500 Imperium. I don't know about that. I would really like to get plus one City Cup, which I can already do, but it's gonna cost me 800. Oh yeah, we can sell the remains. Uh, that looks like a decent sword. Gains a stack of strength and when landing a hit. Interesting. Interesting. I might even use that. And that is hero. Spiritual bow. Fireproof cloak. This unit attacks, damage, fortified obstacles. Okay. So I'll sell that. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, buddy. You were insulted. It's fine. Uh, I'm keeping uh, my souls for now. Because we can potentially get a hero later with some souls. 
And also, I don't really need more units right now, this moment. Okay, we'll get rid of the spawner on the next turn. Maybe get something useful out of it. Hey, I don't think this game will be done in 23 turns, so... Okay, they attacked me, that's fine. Let's do auto combat. Don't lose anything, please. Okay, we lost one autumn fairy. Eh... I might actually be okay with that, I don't know. This is a pretty weak stack right here. They do have the Hunter Spider Mage Shark with the jump. I guess I could do it manually. Okay, fine, let's do it manually. Let's save the ferry. <laughs> it's gonna take a moment though. Like, this is a really weak stack attacking us. So we can definitely save the ferry. We let them come to us and move back with the squishies. Since the spiders can jump in. It would be nice to have some kind of bait in the front. These heroes should do some pretty good damage as well. Oh, I should not have moved there, but it's fine. Yeah, the fairy was already at like 60-70% health. And we have Druid of the Psycho, like, there's no reason to actually lose a unit in here. Especially when we can bring it back from the dead. And uh, at least one of these heroes has restoration too, so... There's literally no reason to lose anything here. Alright, let's cast Lightning Evocation. There you go. So I assume the spiders will jump in. We'll let them do that, that's fine. Move back slightly. Are they close enough for the breath attack? Uh, not really. Okay, let's summon a spider here. There you go. And we can use this spider as bait. Okay, this is perfect bait because it's a summon the unit anyway. So it's not like I care if it dies. It's temporary anyway. Okay, yeah, just let them come here. Okay, now they will jump in, which is fine. And again, this is also fine. They actually ignored my summon spider. Okay, so let's kill the spiders. That should be easy enough. But that is quite a bit of damage right there. But they are actually pretty tough. They are actually pretty tough. I'm not entirely certain if I can kill both of them. Uh, okay, hold on a second. I could use Sprint now. Okay, let's use Sprint. This is like a perfect use case for Sprint, to be honest. Move over here. And then we can attack. With Magic Blast. I think that's acceptable. Oh yeah, let's use Twin Awakening. I could try Seduce. That seems fairly unlikely. Oh, uh, I'm one tile too far away, never mind. Just magic blast. Can we kill them? Good question. Okay, misfortune, that's good. Maybe keep this uh, flying thing busy. Right, right. I want to kill at least one spider. Not sure if I can actually do that, though. Oh, look at this damage they would do. They would actually kill the Bone Horror. Yeah, I really want to kill one of them here. I'll probably have to resurrect one unit. But that's why we have Restoration and the Trees of the Psycho. That's literally their job. Okay, we can definitely avoid retaliation here. And actually, I don't really care much if the Bone Horror dies. It's easily replaceable. Very easily replaceable. How many more attacks do we have? We still have this fairy here. Just don't move it too close. But they can't jump again. There's a cooldown. 
Can you die, please? Oh, uh, right. The white wolf can kill whatever this is. It's a tier one. Yeah, okay, sure. Just kill it. Got it. That's enough for a kill. So we killed one spider. I definitely can't kill the other one, but that's okay. Well, I can try Cycle's End. It's 39% chance to kill it instantly. What the heck? Let's try. No. But this will still be weakened. Okay, they can still kill the Bone Horror if they try hard enough. What if I just heal it? So that I won't have to resurrect it. No, nope, yep, this is still enough damage. Alright, whatever. Whatever. What if we try Seduce? No. Well, now it's distracted. That doesn't really help me that much, but okay. I tried, alright? I actually really tried. Attack the ogre. Oh man, this is actually really close. I was really hoping a Cycle's End might have killed it, but... I think we... Okay, we can still kill it. Nice. Never not had it. Never not had it. I totally knew this is gonna be the outcome. Right from the beginning. Okay, yeah, so one unit died, but that's okay. Again, we can resurrect him. I just need to be in range. So... Uh, who had the restoration again? Pretty sure one of the heroes had it. Well, definitely the droid. It's four tile range, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we'll do it on the next turn. Just don't actually end the fight yet. That would be awkward. That would be very awkward indeed. If I ended the fight. Okay. Right, so we'll leave this ogre alive, probably. And let's just defend here. He won't kill me. We can defend. Even attack him from the back. Yeah, I don't want to kill him, like, by accident. Let's kill this fella here. Bye-bye. Okay, don't end the fight yet. Oh, whoops, I should not have done that. Anyway, yeah, don't end the fight yet. Don't kill him! Okay, okay. Now we can resurrect. Uh, whoops, wrong unit. Wait, can I not do it? Wait, it requires life from dead to be used. Oh, I have to kill something. Wait, so I can't actually do it right now. Oh, that's a bit awkward. Is there no hero here? Yeah, the heroes are elsewhere. The heroes are actually elsewhere. There's one guy with it, but he's not in this army. So I actually cannot bring this guy back. I mean, it's not the end of the world. But I totally thought I'll be able to bring him back. Well, okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world, alright? Yeah, this person does not have it. Right? No, that's Visions of Woe. It was one of the Malay guys, and he's not here. Alright, whatever, it's fine. I mean, it's not like I have a shortage of units, okay? There, done. Okay, he was only soldier rank, it's fine. And another one. Okay, then. Okay, the fairy died. I'm just gonna keep this outcome. Especially since this episode is getting really long. Okay, I really don't want to keep this one. There's no way I'm losing the rock giant. That thing costed me almost 400 gold. So, yeah, there's no way I'm losing him. Okay, let them come to us. Man, this thing is huge. 
Well, he's not called the giant for nothing. Clearly. Alright, this should be easy. In theory. But they do have some fairly strong units. Okay. They just let them come. Melee to the front. Obviously. Our hero here is an archer. Yeah, this guy has restoration, for example. So if one unit dies in here, I can bring them back with restoration. Using this guy. Okay, let them come. I don't have that many units, but I have pretty strong ones. Okay. Why are they on the regeneration? Well, they're coming. Now we can move into attack. So let's see, we could raise or net someone. Okay, good, that worked. And now the hero. There's no Glade Runner in this army, right? No. No, there is not. Okay, so just shoot this guy. Alright, let's go. We do have 60% chance to Sunder Resistance. That is some really good damage right there. That is some really, really good damage. And this here is almost a kill. What about the giant? So he can throw a boulder. And that's not as much damage as I would have liked. Okay, good. We got it. We can move in. What about this earthquake smash? Nah. We have one flying dude on the left. We have a worm on the left. And a dire penguin. Let's attack here. They're not amazing, but I'll take it. We can summon a spider. Uh, let's summon a spider back here, actually. Okay, that kind of works. Okay. And the one melee on the left. They can take it. And we still have the giant. I want to be killing anything directly right now, but we can do some solid damage. Smack him. Right, and the two more. Oh wait, we do have a Glade Runner. On the left, I just wasn't looking at this side. My bad. Yeah, I wasn't looking at this side. We had two more dodes. Well then, alright. And the knight. Is that it? Okay, that's it. Let's go. Okay, so one dude died, we can bring him back with restoration. I mostly care about like the rock giant and things like that. We can replace the bastion. I can't easily replace the rock giant. Plus, he was really expensive to begin with. Okay, I don't want to stay on the left with this glade runner here. It's a bit risky with that spider coming at us. We'll go here and shoot. Okay, now I could use Earthquake Smash. I could use it here even. Okay, yeah, perfect. Let's go. Nice. And then... Need to finish the job here. Ooh. Okay, kill this guy. Then we can use the other Swamp Troll. I could use Plague Spores. Okay, let's pop Plague Spores. There you go. Okay, next. This side. Let me kill this worm. Whoops, where did you go? What? Ando. Kill the worm. Got it. Uh, 
As for the hero, what's the range on this? Four tiles, probably. Yeah, I need to be closer to use this, so let's move closer. Kind of need to move closer to shoot anyway. Wow, that's almost a kill right there. That's crazy. His damage is actually kind of nuts. And that's a kill. Nice. And that's my turn. Let's maybe heal up the rock giant a little bit. He's going to take a beating here, I think. Okay. Now, if I lose any other unit, I will only be able to bring back one. So let's try to not lose anything else here. Just be careful. Okay, need to think about this. Kill this. We have what? One shock unit. Okay. Man, this spider is pretty tough. That might be a problem. Shoot him. So I can use restoration now, but we don't have to use it yet. Yeah, okay, we don't actually have to use it yet. We just need to use it before the end of this fight. That's it. Can I kill this spider? I can, but it's going to cost me quite a few moves, unfortunately. Oh wait, no, it's dead. Okay, good. Plague spores again? Yeah, that's worth it. Yep. Pretty decent AoE. And then... Right, the rock giant also has a heavy charge strike. Fuck this support guy. Actually, that's the battle mage. No, that's steel shaper. And the spider will be gone soon. I can almost kill him. He might even, like, die from the bleed or something. Uh, we could try a stun. That might just work, yeah? Wait, is that a stun? No, that's actually not a stun. That's just like an AoE. Okay, that's fine, though. Can we get one more kill here? Uh, actually, maybe. If I use Necrotize, I think I can. And it will give us a zombie as well. Yes. There we go. And we'll get a zombie. Nice. Okay, so now I need to use Restoration. Like, right now. Because the fight is literally about to end. So, Restoration. Oh, we have need to move uh, the Rock Giant first. That's fine. Let's do it. There we go, we got our Entwined Protector back. Definitely didn't want to lose Daddy on it. And they are about to rout. So we pretty much won. Okay, yep. Eh, just let them run, it's fine. This is not the AI, it's like a neutral stack from the spawner. Okay. We have 264 souls. I guess we can afford to spend 150. Yeah, that's enough. And in here? Um, okay, no, this is enough. Warding band? Hey, that's actually kind of nice. Plus free status resistance on a ring, that's nice. Brown bear? Shoes of swiftness. Uh, these are not amazing, but I could actually use more because I have like one pair. Total. Yeah, this one. Maybe two pairs. Yeah, this guy doesn't have... Yeah, this guy has the boots we made ourselves. And this guy has none. There. Okay. Oh yeah, the ring. So, which ring do we want for him? Uh, probably status resistance. Okay, yeah. For this person, definitely status resistance. And yeah, they leveled up. So, that's the battle mage. But we pretty much finished the battle magic skills, unless I still want to pick up something. But I think we're good. So we did pick up sprint, but I think we'll just...
take some support abilities now. Let's take Inspiring Leader, that's always nice to have. Okay. And we finished Flamer Focus. Now we can pick a new Tome. Tome of Severing. Tome of the Stormborn. Uh, that's one of the new ones, I think. Okay, you know what? We'll actually decide this in the next episode. So thanks for watching this one all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.